finally, 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 after all this time of waiting, Apple finally gave us the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have touched a MacBook twice now. You want to touch me? I had a 13 inch and I had a 15 inch. Both of them are no longer with me. You know, we'll just bow our heads. And the thing about it is, using a Mac and then going back to a Windows computer, it's like, it's almost like driving a Benz and then going back into a Ford. It's not the same thing, man. It's just not. So let's let's just kind of rewind, rewind a little bit. A couple months ago, rumors started circulating about the 16-inch MacBook Pro. And a lot of people were kind of like, you know, mm, you know, we'll see if it happens. It's probably going to come out. A lot of people were thinking it's going to be some type of revolutionary MacBook. They were thinking it's going to be just insane with all the stuff that was going to come along with it. And some people even thought that it was going to start off like at the same price as like the Mac Pro. And you're like $5,000 plus dollars and stuff for this device. But... Apple kind of just came in, and I'm not going to say they dragged a mm across the face, but, you know, they just kind of came in and slid on in, and they replaced the 15-inch model with the 16-inch model. They pretty much pushed the screen to the corners. You know, they, they made it look a little bit more updated for this year, but after three generations of the 15-inch model and all the thermal problems and keyboard problems that we've had, it's almost like Apple finally listened to the consumers. And not only did they replace the butterfly keyboard with the more uh, switch style keyboard, it's the same type of keyboard that's on their Mac uh, Magic keyboards that go along with their Mac computers. Not only did we get a new keyboard, we also got uh, better thermals. The fans inside are bigger and more powerful. We got a little bit more uh, thickness, like I think it's like a half a millimeter thickness, but that gave us, we went from an 80, I think an 87 watt battery to a 100 watt battery, if I'm wrong on the battery size, prior to the 100 watt, my bad. But we are now at the highest legal limit of a battery size in a laptop for flying and traveling according to the FAA and all these other, you know, alphabet boys. So, in addition to that, get this folks, the price of the base MacBook Pro 16 inch is cheaper than the base 15 inch MacBook Pro. For context, I'll probably put this on Twitter, but for context, I was about to buy a MacBook Pro and I'm just looking online to see what a 15 inch one would be spec'd out. I don't need one spec'd out, but you know, it's one of those things where you window shop. You want to see what it's going to look like. A spec'd out MacBook Pro prior to today, 15 inch uh, Core i9 5.0 gigahertz processor turbo charge. 4 terabyte SSD, 32 gigs of RAM, Radeon Vega Pro 20 with 4 gigs of memory was going to run right at about $6,000 before taxes. As of today, with the 16 inch MacBook Pro, you can get 8 terabytes of storage, 64 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of memory on the video card, and it's going to be less than the spec out 15 inch MacBook Pro. Hey, listen, man, listen. I don't know about y'all folks that bought a 15 inch this year or that y'all were planning on buying a 15 inch, but Black Friday just got a little more lit for me because for the base, for the price, the model that I particularly want, I'm about to save a whole bunch of money from what I thought I was gonna have to spend next year when I wanted to buy one. So Apple, thank you. I'm hyped. Anybody who not hype or anybody who got something negative to say about it, hey, I don't know. At this point, I feel like y'all might just be trying to hate a little bit, and that's just my thing because when Apple, when Apple is the company that prior to this year, prior to this year, Apple was not known really for listening. They weren't really known for listening to us. They weren't really known for dropping prices. They weren't really known for like better value when it came to like you know overall it just seemed like more people were like our apple just keeps going up in price apple's not listening to us i mean we had three generations of a macbook that hardcore macbook lovers three years ago could not even recommend going into 2019 now we're about to start off 2020 with a new model that i think a lot more people are going to be excited about i for one and one of those people are you let me know down below in the description, or in the comments, not the description, y'all don't mess with the description, I do. Let me know down below in the comments if you're excited about the 16-inch MacBook Pro. Also, make sure you follow me on all my social media, Tech King Mike. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe so you'll know when I post the next video so you can see this. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.